Hi, and welcome. I'm Marilyn, and I wanted to give you a brief demonstration using transfer paper. So thanks for being here. My favorite transfer paper is uh, paper that's made by Sorel. It comes in a roll, and it also comes in 8.5 by 11 sheets. As you can see by the blue package, it comes in white, gray, blue, red, and yellow. And those same colors are available in the roll. Now the roll is probably, I would guess, about two feet. And uh, I have the white roll and I have the graphite roll and it's lasted me for close to 15 years. So it depends on uh, how many projects that uh, you're transferring to your substrate. So here's the graphite, the sheets of it. Uh, the blue and the yellow and the gra and the charcoal color and the white. I left the red in the package. I'll bring that out in a minute. But as you can see, there's a right side and a wrong side. One side is very opaque. And then you can see the top sheet of the blue, the top sheet of the red. It's more white. So you always want to put the opaque colored sheet furthest away from you and the the splotchy side towards you. Now this here uh, charcoal uh, transfer paper, uh, the one on the right is by Sorel. The one in my left hand, this one here, is is by Low Cornell. Low Cornell package of transfer paper is available at Michaels Canada. I don't really like it as much, uh, primarily because uh, it leaves, uh, um, what can I say, it leaves charcoal marks, graphite marks on my project. So that's why I prefer the Sorel. Okay, let's get the into Sorrel. a demonstration now The biggest now on reason why I prefer the Sorel is because the it's waxless paper. and greaseless. I have one so blank So that makes a lot of paper. sense when so you're transferring your, your image. So this would be your substrate or your painting uh, or, or blank canvas. Your substrate. And that paper that's in my right hand, uh, that is my image that I've drawn and I want to take that image and I want to transfer it to the piece of paper underneath. I make sure that I have the right side of the paper, the darkest red lays down away from you. I sandwich it in between the substrate and my image or my drawing. So I've got a sandwich. On top is the image that I want to copy and then the transfer paper and then my substrate, my canvas or my painting that I want to end up having the image on. So here I'm just going to transfer and trace. That happens to be a little house. Uh, trace over my lines of my image. And I'm simply using a pencil to do that. Now, you can use a pencil or you can use a stylus. Uh, stylus I use quite frequently, um, only because it allows me to go over my image without leaving another pencil mark on top of the image. So, I'm just trying to show you here. Each end of the stylus has a metal tip on it and they are both different sizes of tips. So one's a little bit thicker than the other. Depends on how fine of an image you want to trace. So let's just take a look here and see what we've done with tracing that one house. Because I've used red graphite, I'm going to get a red traced image onto my paper or onto my canvas. And you can see that it traces very cleanly uh, there's no residue from the graphite and that's a plus so it's a very clean image and uh, the surface doesn't get dirty from excessive graphite. So now let me just show you the blue transfer paper. 
Okay, let's get Once into again, a demonstration I'm, I'm now on how over. to actually use I'm tracing the transfer and paper. And this time I'm tracing I have using one blank stylus. piece of paper. So I'm getting so a very this would be your substrate or shape. your painting or a Now blank here canvas. I'm drawing a star. And I don't have that an image to trace. In my right I'm hand just uh, winging it. That I'm is drawing my the image star freehand that I've drawn. And, and I want to take that image that blue and I want to transfer it. And as you can see here, underneath, I've got the house and the star trace. So even though you don't have have the an image that you're actually tracing and you lay down away that from image you will still sandwich it down in between the substrate, substrate and my image and, and my there drawing. you can see that so I've got a sandwich on top the blue, is the image that I want to and the red copy transfer. depends and then on the what it is you're paper needing when and you're then my your substrate picture. my canvas or my painting that I want to end up having the image on so now here, here I'm just going to transfer the graphite, the charcoal colored that graphite. That happens to be a little house. You don't really get to uh, see trace well over my lines uh, of the my image. Color of it. And I'm down simply using on the substrate to with do the that. video, but uh, it's part of the demonstration. So I need to be thorough for my students. There, you can see that it's a uh, dark gray color. Now, you there can you use go. a pencil or you can use so a stylus. So, two different colors. Uh, stylus Red, I use blue quite and frequently. Um, only because it allows me to go over my image without now, leaving another you only pencil this mark lesson, on top of the image. You only need to learn this lesson once. So, I've got I'm the just transfer trying to show paper, you here. The each opaque end side of the stylus has me, as a metal tip away. on it. And, and that, they are both I different sizes of traced tips image so on one's the a little bit thicker than the other. Depends of, on how fine of, my of an paper. image you want. So that's not going to transfer to trace. my image down. So let's just take and a look here and see what we've done paper. with tracing that Thanks one house. Watching. Because I've used red graphite, I'm going to get a red traced image onto my paper or onto my canvas. And you can see that it traces very cleanly. Uh, there's no residue from the graphite and that's a plus so it's a very clean image and uh, the surface doesn't get dirty from excessive graphite so now let me just show you the blue transfer paper once again I'm I'm coloring over I'm tracing and this time I'm tracing using the stylus so I'm getting a very clean shape now here I'm drawing a star. I don't have an image to trace. I'm just winging it. I'm drawing the star freehand. And let's just rem remove that blue paper. And as you can see here, I've got the house and the star traced. So even though you don't have an image that you're actually tracing and you're doing freehand, that image will still transfer down onto your substrate. And there you can see the difference between using the bl blue transfer and the red transfer depends on what it is you're needing when you're tracing your picture. Now here, let's use the graphite, the charcoal colored graphite. You don't really get to see well uh, the color of it down on the substrate with the video. But uh, it's part of the demonstration, so I need to be thorough for my students. There, you can see that it's a uh, dark gray color. There you go. So three different colors, red, blue, and charcoal. Now, you only learn this lesson, you only need to learn this lesson once. I've got the transfer paper, the opaque side facing towards me as opposed to away. And look at that. I have a traced image on the reverse of, of my paper. So that's not going to transfer my image down. And that includes our lesson on how to use transfer paper. Thanks for watching.